So here we're sure that we are sh the tail wheel is shimmed. So we're in flying condition. Of course, the propeller has been removed for safety reason. Because I'm gonna use the motor and the receiver is in pin forward condition. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is assign uh, flight mode. So I'm gonna use switch D here. I'm gonna go on forward programming. General, first time setup. Be sure you have flown the model so the servo are going the right direction with the right throw and the right trim. If you're changing any of that, you need to redo it. Let's set the orientation manually. So the pin are going up front toward the nose. I'm gonna select the gain here. I'm gonna use the knob. Okay, so extreme knob. And I'm gonna apply. And here's that the ES3 just kicked in. So we're all good now. We have now Oak Street that is our gain, so 100% maximum with the gyro, zero is gyro is off, negative gyro is off. And we're gonna go back under in the receiver. I like a little bit of safety, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the F boot setup. So the channel I'm going to assign has a channel, channel 9, box 4. Even if this uh, receiver doesn't have channel 9, it's going to take it. And it's on switch D. So here I'm going to say I want here to have gyro, here another position of gyro, and my gyro off on the lower position. So I'm going to hit inhibit. So at the field, uh, I'm going to start to fly without the gyro and I will put the gyro on but still being sure that I am at zero here. I'm going to increase progressively the gain until I have some oscillation and if I have some oscillation I'm going to kick it back and record what is the value on my transmitter to be able to assign those value to this switch. I'll show you later how it's done. So going at the field, the uh, gain was not enough uh, in order to be able to have the proper setting on the AS3X, so I had to increase gain. So you go in model adjust, forward programming, gyro settings, AS3X settings, and here in gain sensitivity, I had to choose, instead of the default settings that is time one, I had to choose time two. So I came back and find that my settings are the most comfortable are between 75% and 100% uh, on that channel. So we're gonna assign now, instead of having the gain being on knob, we're gonna have the gain being assigned on channel D. So I'm gonna go middle setup, channel assign. Uh, instead of going on the right knob, I'm gonna switch, switch D. And I'm going to go on digital switch setup for this switch here to be when we're here at position 2, position 1, position 0, position 2, I want it to be at 0%. On position 1 to be at 75%. And position 0 at 100%. As you can see now, we're at zero, no gyro, 75% gyro, 100% gyro. Yeah, it is. That's my way to do it. There is necessarily other way, maybe with more refinement or more sophistication, but um, that's my quick and dirty way to set up my ES3X on that Piper Brave. Thank you for following.